Hey everyone, this is Caitlin, ASMR Kitten. I got tagged through my friend Robert. Um, he's just a whispering guy here on YouTube. If you um, are not subscribed to him, you should probably subscribe right away. This is not a shameless promotion or anything. He's really a great guy and um, I'm usually not a big fan of male whisperers and I I love his videos. Um, I don't know, I've never been the biggest fan of male whisperers, so the few that I do love, you guys are very special. Um, you can't already tell, this is being filmed via webcam. My camera right here that I usually film on is um, dead at the moment. I need to charge it. But I charged it last week, and I thought maybe the battery would last a bit longer, but I've been making like 30-minute videos since I have a new memory card that I received um, from Santa. Um, and I, this is just one more thing I'm going to throw out there before I start the actual video. I have no makeup on, and I am running on um, two hours of sleep right now, so... If I start to completely, like, drawl out and talk really slowly, it's not because I'm trying to relax you, it's because I'm exhausted. As a lot of you um, probably assumed I went to a New Year's party last night, and I haven't really recovered. Um, I didn't expect for it to be as crazy as a party as it was. I went to bed around 5.30, and I slept in the same bed as a friend of mine. Well, he snores, and apparently I snore as well, so it kept both of us up, and I don't know, everyone in the house couldn't sleep either, so we had like 20 people wake up at like 8, and the last thing you want to hear after getting maybe, maybe two hours of sleep is a bunch of men looking for their clothing and rattling around beer bottles on the floor. So, um, I'm very tired and I actually woke up from like a nap. I fell asleep around six o'clock watching the news and I kind of never nap. Um, I take usually like five, six naps a year. I'm not kidding. I usually can keep track of the amount of naps that I keep per year. Maybe I should start doing that, you know, it's the first day of 2013, I should, you know, mark a little calendar and write, like, nap one. <laughs> um, so, I'm gonna start the tag now, and it is the nerd tag. Um, I don't even know why I'm filming right now, I was waiting, I was gonna wait till tomorrow, till I'm like, you know, have a fresh face on, and actually don't feel like a grub, but I kind of really like this tag. Um, when I saw Robert posted it, I was so ecstatic because I was like, oh, Alfie tagged me, and then he tagged me, and I was like, oh my god, I've never been tagged before. So thank you for tagging me, Robert. And um, let's get started. The questions. Wear your glasses if you've got any. I don't have any. All I have are those knockoff um, glasses that you get at like IMAX. You know, like the giant ones where you pop the lenses out and every 12 year old girl posts on Instagram a selfie and they're like, look my nerd glasses, hashtag nerd. I'm not grabbing them though. <laughs> so let's see. Um, the first question, Kirk up a card. I hope I pronounced that correct. Um, I'm not a big Trekkie. I honestly don't know how many episodes I've seen of any um, Star Trek series. So I'm gonna go with Kirk only because I do have a few conscious memories of seeing Kirk. Other than that, I was not a Trekkie. I am kind of in that awkward age group between Trekkie like generations. So I wasn't born in the generation that watched it, 
but I was born between the generation that started to get into it, so I'm kind of just stuck, and I never chose to get into it. Um, question two, warrior, thief, or wizard? Well, I have played a few um, RPGs before, and I've played a few campaigns with my friends. Um, I would go with warrior only because of the strength aspect of it. Usually when I play with my friends in the um, <clears throat> campaigns, it's usually all oh, just for fun. So you, they'll usually use the magic aspect of a wizard, but one second. I personally have no preference. I just play um, campaigns to have fun with friends. So we'll go with Warrior just for the strength aspect. Question three, favorite subject in school? When I was still in school, my favorite subject was definitely English. Um, I was an English nerd, and I still kind of am. I, um, my senior year, I took three different English courses, and you were only required to take one. Excuse me. Um, I took a science fiction class which I adored. You read um, graphic novels like V for Vendetta, um, I Am Legend, um, The Martian Chronicles. Um, there's a lot of more that I'm completely disregarding, but it was an amazing class. And my teacher, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay. <clears throat> My teacher adored me. I still see her occasionally when she comes into my work. We, you know, catch up a bit, but there was one project we had. It was to make a comic book, and it just was regular paper about this size, and she wanted like six or so columns. I ended up making two comics for her, and on my grade report, I had 300% for my comics. She loved them that much. Instead of just giving me an 100, she gave me a 300. So that bumped my grade up so much. And my lowest grade in that class was overall like a 70, like 8 at the lowest. I wouldn't even, I would even argue that that was pretty, um, that would be too low. That was my easiest class throughout high school. Um, I also took, um, senior year of high school, two writing studio honors classes. The first one was a lot diff more difficult than the second one. The first one, I was not exposed to writing, um, poetry ever before, aside from just bullshitting English assignments for previous classes. But this we had to create a portfolio and it had to be 20 poems plus a project um, which we had to create poems in a different author style followed by um, an oral presentation and that was our overall grade there was no other grades that entire class so if you fucked up one little thing in your entire portfolio your grade dropped um, everything in that portfolio was worth 10% of your overall grade, so if you messed up one thing, you would go down to a 90, followed by an 80, and so on and so forth. I ended up with a, um, A+. Plus. So, there's that. And one thing that was cool with both, um, classes, the second one was 25 poems, 10 revised, 15 new. So that was a bit more lenient. But um, in both projects, in classes, I mean, excuse me, for the projects, you had to make um, a list of a hundred memories, and you would think a hundred memories would be so simple to come up with, but it was so difficult. I would ponder for hours over that, and um, of course, there are certain things you don't want to say to a teacher, like, party at this person's house, so you have to word it like, 
hanging out with. <laughs> so I've always wanted to um, read you guys some of the hundred memories I have, but the thing is they're all very personal and um, I want to sort of censor them and take out names and locations and then present them to you guys, but I'm a bit worried that if I censor them too much that you guys will have no idea what I'm talking about. So let me know if you would be interested in that, just a um, stripped down version of a hundred memories. I would read you guys my poetry, but it was about, it was a year ago actually when I took that class. Now that I think about it, it was last January when I, um, when I finished that class and holy shit, it was, it was bad poetry. Looking back six months later, I hated it. So I think a year later I would probably still hate it, if not hate it more. Anyways, that was a bit of a tangent. Um, the next question is, what would your Patronus be? Well, because I do love Harry Potter to death. I'm the biggest Harry Potter nerd um, that I know of. Of course, there are many more. My Patronus would be a cat because cats make the world go round. Um, I'm secretly the crazy cat lady, if you guys don't already know that. Um, if you guys watch Heather Feather's videos, you'll see all the time her cat interrupts her videos, and I think it's the cutest friggin' thing. Um, my YouTube username is ASMR Kitten because cats are amazing. <laughs> oh my god, I feel like I'm gonna be turned into a meme, and it's gonna be like, ew, this really weird girl likes cats a lot. Look at her face, like almost like the overly attached girlfriend meme. <laughs> All right, I'm only on question five, and this video is 12 minutes. Um, your favorite superhero? Hmm, I want to say, okay, there's a serious aspect to this answer and a sarcastic answer, so I'll go with the sarcastic first. Um, I want to say Spider-Man from The Amazing Spider-Man, only because I am so freaking attracted to Andrew Garfield. Um, my ex actually looked very similar to Andrew Garfield, and it was very interesting because constantly I would tell him, like, oh, you're my Spider-Man, and like, you look just like, um, like Spider-Man, and like, then my friends would make a lot of sexual innuendos <laughs> based upon that, but... Um, because of Andrew Garfield, I love Spider-Man. <laughs> Serious answer time. Probably, um, Batman. I love the, um, the Dark Knight trilogy. It was mind-blowing every ep um, every movie. Uh, excuse me, I said episode. So, definitely Batman. Um... Question six, Star Trek or Star Wars? <laughs> I love Star Wars. You guys do not understand. I love Star Wars. Whenever um, there is a Star Wars movie on like Spike TV or anything, my dad and I plop our asses down and just watch the entire thing. We've seen it a million times. We have Star Wars video games in the house. We have Star Wars collectibles. I, I love Star Wars so much, so I love that question. Star Wars is the best. Um, question seven, Marvel or DC? I've never been a comic girl, please don't kill me. Um, I've tried, I just can't get into comics. If I really had to choose, I'd probably say Marvel, but I don't have a preference. So let's go with that. Question eight. In what unsports related way do you keep in shape? <laughs> I don't work out. I don't do anything to keep in shape. Um, it's so bad because I know that 
I should exercise, but I just choose not to. Um, it's, it's honestly, I'm lazy, and I'm like, Ugh, to eat this bag of chips or to exercise. And it's like, I'm gonna eat. I did lose, um, about 10 pounds in November when I was on vacation. I was in California, and I was by myself for the first time. I didn't have a car. I didn't have a way around. I relied solely on my friend. And, um, if I didn't see him one night, then I pretty much didn't eat. I did buy groceries because I was with my family, but I couldn't just be like, hey guys, can you um, take me to the grocery store? Like every time I wanted food or every time I wanted fast food, I couldn't be like, hey, let's go to like in and out up the street. So I ended up like losing a couple pounds and through the constant like walking around the, um, the town and like, you know, just being active out there. I lost about 10 pounds and I came home and none of my clothes fit. So I was really happy about that. Um, number nine, what is your dream career choice? I've mentioned this so many times in other videos and it's very redundant at this point, so I apologize. Um, I want to be involved in hair and makeup. I love waking up every day and doing my own makeup, except for today. <laughs> Today's one of the first days in a couple years I haven't worn makeup. So it's kind of nice to have a fresh face for once. But, um... I went out for dinner one night a couple, about like two weeks ago with a friend, or like six friends, and I had one of my female friends come over before dinner and I did her hair, and it was just so much fun. I would love to be involved in hair and makeup and definitely attend beauty school. Unfortunately, financially, I cannot handle work as well as getting a car and going to school, um, which is why I took some time off from school. I need to really look into getting back into it. I've discussed it, I've applied to other colleges, but I, I, think, I think college isn't for me. I think beauty school is definitely where I wanna be. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna hopefully fulfill my dreams. <laughs> um, Favorite video game? Well, I'm glad you asked. It really depends on which platform you're talking about. So we'll go with the Xbox 360. In March, my ex-boyfriend, who I do talk about quite a lot, quite a bit about, he's my best friend, um, despite our breakup and blah blah blah, he, um, in March, when we were still together, he gave me an Xbox of his, and it was very old, and he didn't expect it to last very long, and it didn't last long at all. It sounded like a chainsaw. You would turn it on, and it would be like, and it sounded just like a jet and a chainsaw mixed together, and it was really bad. If someone was taking a nap in the living room, you could not play the Xbox because it would wake them up. So, um, eventually it got the red ring of overheating. It didn't get the red ring of death, it just overheated way too much and you couldn't use it anymore. So he sold it and um, on our two year anniversary, he pitched in some money and he bought um, he helped buy me a Xbox 360. I have the new one in my, um, living room now. It's great. So, um, I love FPSs, first-person shooters. Um, I play, um, MW3, Black Ops, Black Ops 2. My ex, um, is really into Halo, so I got into Halo a bit. He has a YouTube channel dedicated to Halo, actually. Um, so I do game quite a bit. Um, if you're discussing, um, Nintendo products, I'm definitely an old school Nintendo girl. I love Mario. I love Game Boy Advances. Um, 
Yoshi's Island, Animal Crossing for any platform aside from the Wii. It's kind of a shitty version on the Wii. So, I definitely would say I'm more of an Xbox girl at this point. Oh, but I forgot. Um, Pokemon. I love Pokemon. I used to, at least. I, um, I had Ruby when I was in, like, fifth grade. I had clocked in over, like, 10,000 hours on it. And then I just lost it. And I'm so pissed because I've looked for years now and I cannot find it. I have searched this entire house and I seriously cannot find it. I had seriously over 10,000 hours and I beat the game so many times. I had so many legendary Pokemons up to like level 100 and I'm so upset. I have an emulator so fortunately I can still play with the emulator. It's almost not the same though, you know? Favorite author? Um, okay, I don't read. Actually, I um, the last time I really picked up a book was probably in high school. <laughs> I've never been a big reader, and I don't think I ever will be. If I had to pick an author, I'm gonna go with the very generic answer, J.K. Rowling because I love the Harry Potter series. Favorite indie band? When um, just a whispering guy was answering this question, he also had a um, difficult time answering this. So I agree with him. I'm not sure if this question means indie as an in indie hipster kind of stereotype to music, or if that means just you know, um, an individual artist or band. Nonetheless, um, I'm gonna go with the latter option and just do a band I personally know. I, um, went to high school with a few of these kids, or all of them. Their name is Blackwell. They are um, a bunch of 17 and 18 year old kids, and they are they're great for their, um, their age. You would be blown away by their performances. Um, their singer messaged me one day via Facebook and said, I found your YouTube videos. Um, I have ASMR too. And it kind of blew me away because here I am, you know, posting these videos and this kid that I've been to parties with who actually is dating one of my friends, like, has ASMR and listens to my videos, so, if you watch this, hi. Um, my ex-boyfriend, my best friend, whatever you want to call him, his cousin is also in the band, so I was huge, you know, I saw them quite a bit. Um, I saw them actually on my exes and I's two year anniversary. They played a show and we thought how much fun it would be to just attend. So we went. It was so much fun. I'm so happy that we went. So check out Blackwell if you ever get the chance. They're just um they're just they're just kids and they love what they do and I hope they're famous one day because they they put their heart and soul into it, so What's the nerdiest thing about yourself? Um, I don't know. The nerdiest thing about myself is probably the fact that I love news. As, as heart-wrenching and unfortunate news always is, I can watch the news for hours. I, when I have work early in the morning, I watch CNN. Um, when I get home from work, I typically put on local news or CNN again. I watch HLN all the time. <laughs> I love the news, so I'm pretty sure my love for um, news is definitely nerdy. Nerdiest movie in your collection? I don't have any movies, really. I mean, I have the entire Harry Potter series. Um, but that's understandable. Um, 
Everything's on Netflix, so I don't know. Let's just go with Harry Potter because it's pretty much the only collection I have that I can think of. PlayStation, Xbox, or Wii. Um, old school PlayStation is phenomenal. I have so many old games. Crash Bandicoot, um, Frogger. Um, oh, they're all over there. Let's see if I can see any. Resident Evil, Space Invaders, um, arcade games, Pac-Man, any like Namco game. They're great games, but um, I don't like the PS3 too much. I think it's very fun, but I'm an Xbox girl, as I said. I love playing on live with um, my ex-boyfriend, especially since we don't live near each other anymore. Um, if he's not home, we can just jump on live and talk for hours on t on a time while playing different games. So that's fun. What's the biggest word you know? Um, I don't really know a lot of big words that are like words that people don't already know. Um, the only word that sticks out is because my friend said it like five different times today. And if he watches this, hi to you too. He kept saying the word platonic. I don't know why it's just sticking out in my head when I read that question. All I could think of was this morning when he kept saying platonic, platonic, platonic. So platonic is the biggest word I can think of on my two and a half, three hours of sleep. Um, greatest nerd accomplishment. Um, aside from beating all the Zelda games I own, I would say watching an entire television series um, in the course of like three weeks. Mm, yeah. I watched Weeds um, via Netflix this summer. I was in a really rough patch in my life. I was really depressed. I don't want to get into it, so let's not. But, um, I seriously, one day I watched the entire, I think it was second and third season in like a day. And they're all, they're half hour episodes, but there's like anywhere from 10 to 15 episodes per, um, season. So I literally watched like the shit out of it. It got to the point where people would be like, want to hang out? And I'm like, eh, I want to watch Weeds. And then I'd be like, sorry, can't hang out, LOL, TTYL. It was bad. So, finishing the television series was definitely my greatest nerd accomplishment that I can think of. Biggest nerd role model. Um, I don't have one. If I had to realistically think about this, I'd say my friends. Um... Specifically my ex-boyfriend, he, I call him my ex, but he's really my best friend, so I usually say my ex-friend, my ex who's my friend, it's really confusing. Um, he was one of the top Halo players in the state, in like the district slash like area. He is an amazing gamer, and I, I kind of want to show him this video so he can see that I'm complimenting him. He's a great, um, he's a great sport, so I like, I would I consider him a nerd role model, honestly. You know, he's the only nerd I know who is totally cool with just playing video games with me for hours and hours and dealing with my bullshit when it comes to my distaste for games. Um, Specifically Halo, he tried teaching me for the entire time we dated how to play. He tried teaching my mom how to play. And he is, even even now, almost three years later, he's still teaching me how to play. It's kind of cute. So thanks, Mike. Um, what fictional character did you fantasize about as a, ch as a kid? I mean, if you're going with sexual fantasy, that's just gross, and I didn't have any. Um, 
I didn't fantasize about characters at all. Not up until like recently when I started really getting into like television shows. Um, like via Netflix, like Breaking Bad and Weeds. Other than that, I never have fantasized about characters. Um, jocks. Friends or foes. Um, they can be your, they, they can, they have foe. I had a lot of jocks dislike me in high school because I'm always the weird girl. The girl who wears band t-shirts instead of wearing, um, school colors. So. Old school, bite, um, like bit games, like 8-bit or modern 3D graphics. I like modern graphics. I'm not like... I don't want 3D, like, you know, I have to wear, like, special classes and play on a 3D television, like, nothing as long, nothing as far as that, but some of the graphics on recent games, like Halo 4, they're mind-blowing. I mean, absolutely incredible, so I would definitely go with, um, the newer graphics, just not the newer graphics that are so intense. Um, nerdiest pickup line. Oh my god, I know one. It's gonna piss me off. Someone told me it's like a Call of Duty one. I, it's gone. I'm sorry. I don't have a nerdy pickup line. Um, I could make one up right now, but it'd be awful, so I'm not going to. The nerdiest article of clothing you've ever owned. Um, I have a, um, Harry Potter shirt that is, has like all the cast members' faces on them, and it is god awful looking on me, and it makes me look like so weird because I just have all these people on my like body. So I have like Rupert Grint on like one side and Emma Watson over here and like um, Daniel Radcliffe like on my stomach like it looks awful. <laughs> um, do you have a random useless useless talent? What is it? My random useless talent is I can trigger people who have ASMR and relax them. And if you don't have it, you probably think I'm the biggest fucking weirdo in the entire world. No, um, seriously though, I, I have really good head massages and like scalp massages. You can ask any of my friends. I seriously constantly give like scalp massages to people. Um, I'll hang out with people and I will just, they'll be driving, I'll be behind them, and I'll just be like rubbing their head. And I'm probably going to cause an accident one day, but they love it. I do it to my, um my best friend all the time. He is extremely used to it at this point. I'm just like, okay, come here. Let me scratch you. Um, do you read the book before seeing the movie? It really depends. I, um, I am the kind of person who likes to just see movies because I, as I stated, I don't read. I read the Harry Potter series before seeing the movies, so same with the Twilight series. I read the entire series before it like, was extremely mainstream. And then the movies came out. And I saw up to Breaking Dawn. And then after that I was like, fuck this. This shit is awful. <laughs> um, if you could have any superpower, what would it be? I would want to have mind control. I would want to change someone's mind and... If they were thinking something that was like terrible, like I'm gonna go like break up with my wife, I'm gonna go divorce my wife, like I'd be like, no you're not, and I'd like change their mind and be like, haha, you are not gonna be an idiot. Or if someone at like work was to be like, oh you're gonna get fired, I'd be like, no, they're gonna get fired. I feel like that'd be very useful. I'm, I, I like being manipul manipulative. Big words are not my thing when I'm running on four hours of sleep. So that's the tag. Um, I'll definitely think about tagging people. And I don't want to tag people if you guys aren't like 
I don't know if you guys aren't like into this stuff, so maybe via Facebook I'll tag you, but don't expect um, via YouTube to be tagged. I'll privately like message you. So thank you for watching and looking at my ugly makeupless face. Um, happy New Year. Hope it was fun. This video is almost 40 minutes and it's probably going to take forever to upload, so I'm going to end it now. Bye, friends.